Hey guys, it's Taya and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing y'all how I did these super flat jumbo box braids. This is literally my favorite style I've ever done, so I hope you guys enjoy and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and let's get into the video. So first I'm showing y'all how I parted my hair. I started with one big section in the back which will have two braids in it and I just did it from one ear to the other and it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, mine definitely aren't perfect just you know do the best you can and after I have that sectioned out I just secure it in place with a braid and then moving on to the next section I don't I guess I could say this is like about two inches or three inches wide but this is my second section I just you know parted it all the way around and I always make sure the thickness is about the same throughout the entire section and this second part is gonna have five braids in total and when you finish parting just make sure it looks the same in the front if that makes sense like make sure it starts at the same exact place and then moving forward I went ahead and parted my hair straight down the middle and then I'm gonna basically have four braids at the very top of my head and then you guys will see um, I'll have one section like kind of at the crown of my head so I'm just making four squares at the top so for now I have two sections in the back and then I have four braids at the top So here I'm creating two more squares just to complete the four that I have at the top of my head and this way it created the back section or like the section at the crown of my head perfectly um, and that section is going to have two braids in it as well. So in total I ended up having 13 braids, two in that very bottom section or row, um, five in the second one, two at the one right above that and then four at the very top of my head. And now I'm going to show you guys how I created each braid. I'm going to have the gel and the braid hair I used linked down below. It is pre-stretched hair. And yeah, so I'm taking about, I would say there's like about a two inch section for each braid. And then from there, I take two thicker pieces of hair and section them out. So this is about, I don't even know, it's just a bigger piece. And I take one that's about the same. And then I take about four smaller ones and then I just lay all that out to have it ready to feed into my braid. And of course you start off by creating three little pieces and you start braiding. And I braid about three times before I apply the first piece of hair. And I do the thicker ones first and then I go in and add the smaller pieces where I feel like it's necessary and I've explained this before but you just add in the piece to your pointer and your in between your pointer and your middle finger and continue braiding down like normal so I added it in and then I braided three more times down and then I added the second thick piece and then from there I braided down further I didn't do like one piece after the next but whenever I felt it was necessary to put the smaller pieces in just to thicken out the braid so my ends wouldn't stick out um, I put the pieces in there and the reason that I did this is because I wanted them to stay extra flat and you know just I didn't want them to be super bulky and jumbo um, but I did also want my ends to stay in the braid as you can see some of them did not it's just inevitable But yeah, I just wanted them to be as flat as possible And if that didn't make sense to you, I'm sorry I'm gonna explain it like three or four more times maybe three times. So just keep watching All right, so again, I'm applying gel and smoothing that out with a toothbrush, edge brush, whatever you wanna call it. And you just start off like you're making a normal braid. And once I braided down about three times is when I added the first thicker piece that I sectioned out from the two inch section that I took out from the braid hair. 
hope that makes sense and I added that in between my pointer and my middle finger and then connected that top piece you see how I grabbed it and connected it to the hair that was you know laying on the top of my hand and then I braided down about three more times and added in that second thicker piece and then you'll see me braid down more and just kind of act like I'm finishing the braid but I just add in smaller pieces as I go I eyeball it I don't have a specific way that I do it I just do it whenever I feel like I need to add more hair so you guys can obviously add all the hair in one or one after the other but this is just the way that I do it because it just works for me and once you have all the braid pieces in I just braid all the way down to the bottom Okay, so I'm gonna explain it again because I really want you guys to understand. So I'm just smoothing out my hair with jam. I don't know why I'm petting myself like a dog, but I'm um, creating a braid. So you just start off like a normal braid. So create three sections and then put your first piece in between your pointer and your middle finger and just braid down like normal. And then you put braid down three more times and then you put that second thicker piece of braiding hair and from here again i just braided down like normal and then wherever i felt like okay i need to start thickening out this braid i added more of those smaller pieces and the reason that i wanted to add smaller pieces at the bottom is because you can't really notice like when the braid gets thicker if that makes sense because you're adding in such little pieces um that it just gradually you know thickens out so and then I just braid all the way down to the bottom and I secure my braid with a little bit of flame from a lighter. So I'll show you guys at the end how I do it. But Moving on to the final braid. It is a little different so I wanted to show you guys how I do it. So obviously if you're working on the back of your head, it's going to be like you're working on someone else's hair. So you add in the hair in between your pointer and your thumb. Um, so that's the only thing that's different is just where you add in the hair because you always want the braid hair to be connected to the hair that's sitting on top of your hand. If that doesn't make sense, I'm sorry, but just <laughs> know when you're braiding the back of your head um, and your fingers are above the braid, like you're doing a kind of like an overhand braid, then you always want to add the hair in between your pointer and your thumb finger and um this braid i added the hair kind of close together like you can see i'm adding more pieces at the top than i did on the other ones um i don't know there was no reason for this i think it was because this section of my hair was a little bit thicker i don't know but it was my last braid so whatever And like I've been saying, I braided all the braids to the bottom. The hair was pre-stretched, so it was super easy to do. You didn't have to, you know, waste time stretching it out or anything. Um, and when I got to the end of the braid, which I will in a second, I just made sure that it wasn't going to come loose by using a lighter to burn the end. So I'll show you guys in a second. So right here, I just barely burned it because if you burn it too much, the whole entire piece of that braid is going to come off. So but yeah this is how the style turned out i ended up having 13 braids in total like i said in the beginning um but i 100 percent recommend this style it's so easy to do it looks amazing i got so many compliments on it i've posted a picture on instagram and everybody loved it so um it took me a little over two hours i think and that's just because honestly like i'm lazy i always take breaks but I love this hairstyle so much, you guys. And if you also love it or you learned something, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video.